In all, more than 240 twisters touched down in the Midwest and the South, left behind a massive trail of destruction over the course of three days. The storm affected 15 states and killed some 45 people. And now we're taking on the wild weather. Joining us, meteorologist Scott Mandia and my nine meteorologist, Audrey Puente. Scott, let's start with you. The wild weather we saw over the weekend, especially in North Carolina, we usually don't see this kind of weather until, uh, unless it's in an area like Tornado Alley. What do you think caused it? Well, there are a lot of factors that lead to severe weather, but certainly one of those is a tremendous amount of uh, moisture in the air because the planet's heating up. And that moisture, actually, when it condenses to form clouds, releases a tremendous amount of heat, and that drives a lot of these storms. A typical weather thing, or do you blame things that we're doing in the environment? Well, you know, regarding climate change, there's no question that humans are overloading the atmosphere with carbon, and it's making the planet warmer. 2010 set a, a new record. That's adding more moisture to the atmosphere. That, that de definitely will make thunderstorms stronger. Audrey, what do you think? You're an experienced meteorologist. You've seen this year after year after year. What do you think is the cause for a lot of that violent weather we saw over the weekend? Well, I do agree with some of Scott's points that he did uh, make regarding climate change and associating that with stronger thunderstorms. But we are also entering uh, what is called tornado season, with May becoming the peak month. So this is going to be a time of year that we are going to hear more and more about tornadic activity and severe thunderstorms, because that's just uh, the time of year that we're in, being that it is going into tornado season for the next couple of months. In one particular area in our part of the country, Wayne, New Jersey, they've had flood after flood after flood. But what do you say in terms of especially areas that are flooding a lot. Well, again, I mean, if you, if you think of the atmosphere as a sponge, the hotter the atmosphere, the bigger your sponge. So it can hold more water. And when you actually squeeze it out, you're going to get more rain. So there's no question as we keep warming the planet, we're going to have increased flooding. Audrey, what do you say to that? Well, the situation you were speaking about in Wayne, there's also other factors, considering uh, there was a dam that was built in that area that redirected some of the rivers across that part of New Jersey. And that's why folks who hadn't seen floods for years, all of a sudden, the last six, seven years, they've gotten like three to four major floods in that area. Scott, isn't there always a sort of typical likely reason for it and not always a matter of environmental concerns or things that we're doing to the environment? Right. There's, there are always... Uh, competing factors. But I think the best way to look at it is uh, think of a die one through six. Uh, if you load that by taking away a one and adding in a six, you're not going to roll a six every time, but a six is going to come up more often. And as we warm the planet and there's more moisture in the air, flooding will be more prevalent. We saw that in Nashville the earlier last year when we had a one in 1,000 year flood. Pakistan, Australia, I mean, it's happening all over the place. We do see incidents of things happening that don't usually happen. So do you think it's usually, though, some environmental thing that we've done? Climate change is a normal process that has, does happen in the atmosphere over hundreds and thousands of years. But I think what we also need to recognize, I think as Scott has pointed out, is that humans have been proven to, what they're thinking is that we are accelerating the process of climate change. And I think that's where the problem is lying in. Okay, we have to end the conversation there. Scott Mandia, Audrey Puente, thanks for joining us.